Here's a new study on nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, and nicotinamide riboside. Both of these are the top NAD boosting supplements on the market today. I've made some notes, and here's what this review article states. This is 10 clinical trials. Six of these studies involved, involved NMN, and four of these studies involved nicotinamide riboside. The dosages range from 250 milligrams a day all the way up to 2,000 milligrams a day, although I will point out that most of these studies use 250 milligrams a day. The NR dose was generally about 1,000 milligrams a day in most of these studies. And the treatments of these investigations lasted anywhere from three weeks up to 24 weeks or six months. Here's what the findings were. For NMN, no significant improvement was found in muscle mass, hand grip strength. They didn't walk any faster. And their, their, their stand-up test from a, from a chair seated position did not improve either. Likewise, there was no improvement in knee strength. Strength. There was no improvement in sports physical performance battery test, which is called the SPPB. Timed up and go test, that's another test of physical performance, did not improve. Their leg or chest press strength did not improve, and there was no improvement in thigh muscle either. As a matter of fact, in one study showed a significant decrease in thigh muscle mass when people took NMN compared to a placebo. Here's what this study said about nicotinamide riboside. Mostly no improvements in hand grip strength, mostly no improvements in six-minute walking tests either with the exception of people who had peripheral artery disease, PAD. In those individuals, nicotinamide riboside improved their six-minute walking test modestly after between three and six months. And also in people who had mild cognitive impairment, nicotinamide, actually, nicotinamide riboside actually worsened uh, their, their scores for physical performance compared to placebo. Either conclusion neither nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide meaningfully improves skeletal muscle mass or strength in people over the age of 60 years of age. This is no surprise. I've been talking about both of these supplements for many years. I have a bunch of videos here on the actual studies. Go check them out for yourself. I've been saying it for a long time. Both NMN and NR are big duds for older adults.